As scrub nurses in the operating room, we handle many potentially dangerous sharps during a case. Combine that with exposure to large amounts of body fluids and tissues means we all work in a very high risk environment. The risk of contracting hepatitis B or C, HIV, or any of a number of other contagious diseases always exists, no matter how small the procedure is or how the patient presents. The figures for healthcare workers contracting a disease are as frightening as ever. Diseases of this sort can't be put to rest, but the dangerous practice of hand passing sharps can be. It can only take one sharps injury to ruin not just your career, but also your life. Have you personally had a sharps injury in the OR yet? If you have, then I'm going to show you how to avoid it happening to you again. The hand passing of sharps between members of the scrub team during surgery remains an extremely dangerous practice for everyone. The use of kidney dishes or other trays for transferring some sharps has made that practice slightly safer, but the risk of injury remains unacceptably high. Now at last, the solution to safe sharps transfer for the entire scrub team is here, with the introduction of the scrub safe sharps transfer device from DeRoyal, the leaders in OR safety. Designed by a registered scrub nurse in the OR, the scrub safe device safely transfers a wide range of dangerous sharps with a variety of inbuilt safety features and a design that is extremely user friendly. Scrub safe also protects you from other sharps such as drain trocars, K wires, straight and curved suture needles, retractors such as skin hooks, cat's paws, rakes, and tui and hypodermic needles. Now there's no need to literally lay your life on the line to hand pass all those sharps during a case. Transfer them all in the scrub safe device and enjoy some peace of mind not having to worry about that sharps injury you know could just be around the corner. See for yourself how safe and efficient sharps transfer can be using the new scrub safe device. The problem with kidney dishes and flat trays is that they offer no protection from the sharps that they are transferring. Their flat bases also make it hard to grip instruments safely, particularly scalpel handles. ScrubSafe features a specially shaped bottom recess that houses the sharp portion of the instrument while still allowing finger access for the user. The result is a device which gives the gloved hand maximum protection. Surgeons will find removing scalpels from the ScrubSafe device easy and safe. They don't have to take their eyes off the surgical site to do so. They simply reach in and their fingers are automatically guided around the scalpel handle only. By being able to get their fingers to the underside of the handle, they can get a good grip on the handle to safely remove the scalpel. To replace the scalpel, they only have to drop it into the scrub safe and it will seat safely in the bottom recess. This is achieved by dropping the scalpel at a slight angle over the device as shown, causing the scalpel to spin on its descent, enabling it to sit flat in the bottom recess. The ScrubSafe device accepts handle sizes 3, 4, 7, and 9, loaded with scalpel blades size 10, 11, 12, 15, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Number 3 and number 4 extra long scalpel handles do not fit full length into the ScrubSafe device, but can be passed in the device more safely than by hand passing. Simply position the blade portion into the bottom recess as you would for any other scalpel and blade. Then place your thumb over the distal end of the handle to stabilize its position as shown. The surgeon can then quite easily grasp the scalpel handle and remove it for use. To have the long scalpels returned to you, simply hold the scrub safe device from underneath and your hand is totally protected when the scalpel is being returned to the device. The scalpel recess can also be used for transferring other sharps such as taking back used drain trocars from your surgeon, or for transferring K wires. This recess is also useful for handing assistants skin and tissue retractors, such as skin hooks and cat's paws. For larger cloth type retractors, the other side of the scrub safe device can be used as seen here to safely shield the sharp claws during transfer. Hypodermic needles used by your surgeon for local anesthesia during the case can not only be passed to your surgeon in the scrub safe device, but can also be passed back to you in complete safety. The device is also useful for receiving back used laparoscopic port trocars, especially the non-safety tip models. As a scrub nurse, we pass a lot of sharp suture needles to our surgeons. 
both straight and curved, and here as well, there is a high risk of needle stick to the entire scrub team. By using the underside of scrub safe, these sutures can be safely passed without risk. Here's how the system works. Curved suture needles are loaded as normal onto your needle holder and placed into the scrub safe with ring grips pointing vertically. In this way, the top ring grip is more accessible for the surgeon's fingers. It is also more obvious to them than trying to pick it up from inside a flat bottom tray. The device will accept up to an 8-inch instrument, and a variety of holder designs can be used, from Matthews through to Gillies and Mayo Hager's as well. The curved suture needle can be positioned in one of two ways. The needle can be placed point down to give the maximum protection, or it can be placed with needle point up. Smaller needles will remain below the device's top rim, but larger needles are much safer point down. Needles which are placed point down are not blunted by contact with the side wall of scrub safe, unless there is excessive and prolonged movement of the device with the needle in this position. In procedures using multiple needles, two sutures can be loaded at the same time. This gives you more time to concentrate on other duties you have to perform, such as doing a count, knowing your surgeon has enough sutures to keep working. The top rim of scrub safe can also be used to position your tissue forceps to accompany the sutures that you are transferring. Alternatively, when using multiple sutures during a procedure, the draped sterile field can be used as a transfer site for your surgeon's neck suture. Leaving one side of the device free allows your surgeon to return used sutures at will and retrieve the next one required without any hand passing. Even if you are busy doing your count, the distinctive sound of a used suture holder being returned to the device lets you know it's time to remove the old and insert a new suture, loaded and ready to go. Straight needles such as this 3O Proline are by far the most dangerous of all the sutures. Besides the obvious dangers of a needle stick, there is also a chance of losing the needle in the drapes. By placing the needle and thread into the underside of the scrub safe device, the surgeon cannot grasp the needle at all and therefore can't injure themselves. By lifting the thread, however, they can remove the suture and safely grasp the suture needle. When the surgeon is finished, they simply drop the needle back into the device and you can then tip it safely onto your sharps mat. The hand passing of these dangerous straight sutures is now a thing of the past using ScrubSafe. The ScrubSafe device also provides you with maximum hand protection from accidental sharps injury by allowing you to grasp it in several ways. You can either grip the device from underneath the bottom rim or make use of the side finger grips provided. By grasping the device underneath as shown, your entire hand can be fully shielded from a potential sharps injury. By using the scrub safe device in your operating room, you will not only reduce your staff's sharps injuries, but it will also assist your OR in meeting the new OSHA guidelines or OR safety, which are designed to eliminate the hand passing of sharps in your OR. If you would like more information on this exciting new product, contact your local DeRoyal representative or call DeRoyal customer service on 1-800-251-9864. The Royal, the leaders in OR safety innovation.